We are here at beautiful Mystery Creek Field Days for the Still Timber Sports New Zealand Championship. Now we're very lucky again to have Phil Ropaha as our commentator. Phil, what is the exciting event we're going to be seeing today? Okay, today we have the T Still Timber Sports inaugural Women's Championship. And what are our ladies competing in today in their disciplines? Three disciplines today. We'll start with the stock saw, which uses a stock standard still professional saw. They will be making two cuts with that, and we're looking for fastest time. We are also doing the single buck, so we go from a motorised machine back to the good old days of using a cross-cut saw, although now these are very specialised sporting equipment rather than a tool. And then we finish out with the underhand chop, which will be familiar to anyone who follows timber sports or wood chopping. Well, I can tell you what, there's a lot of laughter back there, but there also is some nerves starting to brew, so let's take a look at the ladies' action. Now, Kylie, you're one of the babies in the sport, only five years in. What got you into this amazing sport? Um, I really got into it through watching my father compete. So I've been around it for years, but only really competed in the last five. And it's great you get to really show your stuff in three separate disciplines. What's your favourite one? I would have said my favourite was the underhand, but now it is definitely the chainsaw. What's happened? A little bit of training and just experience with it, and I love it. Shannon, all the way up from the South Island, which is your strongest discipline that you're looking forward to today? Oh, I'm an underhand cutter. It's, it's what I'm been trained to do and uh, I've been dragged into this so I had to learn everything else really. So Phil we'll be seeing the ladies compete in the stock saw today, what is that all about? Okay the stock saw is a competition used right around the world, we take a 40 centimetre log, they are only allowed to cut into it 100 mil, 10 centimetres, they pick up a still MS661 full professional forestry saw and make two cuts, one coming from the top, one coming from the bottom, both those discs need to be perfect, hit the ground fastest time is what we're looking for. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go! And a very quick snatch there by Connie Heaton first into the wood, comes down on the first six now. It's all up to Shannon Hodgins to see whether she can do a little bit of catch up. Let's have a look at the transition. A little bit thin on the bottom, comes up the transition. It's Kylie Heaton in the green from Hamilton who's leading the way. Looks like we're going to get a winner here in the first round. But it's got to be close as they come down. Oh, it was close too. We've got a good cut on one, we're going to check the start on the sand too. Said it looked like a very clean snatch up off the floor with the saw. Maybe it was just a little bit too quick. Karen, three wonderful disciplines to compete in. What would be your strongest? Um, I really don't know. I've only just started the uh, stock saw, so um, I probably, I guess the underhand is my strongest. Now you've, that's actually taken you overseas and you're a winner. What have you won in underhand overseas? Uh, well, I, my most recent win is actually the South Island Champs, and that was um, earlier this year, and I won that, so I was really proud of that. Michaela, great to see you back here at the National Championships. Exciting to be competing for the title. What is your strongest discipline that we'll see you in today? Strongest? It's uh, probably the underhand, only because that's the one I started with, and my probably my favourite discipline. So, yeah. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go! So it's Michaela Law in the blue up against Karen Corbin on the right hand side. And the Lavender making harder work, working the saw through. But at the moment, Michaela Lord comes through the bottom, might have cut away. She needs to clean up, make another cut. Now, this is where they've got to balance the power of the saw against the load and the wood. They have to cut two clean discs. So Michaela Lord working within the 100 millimetres that she is allowed to see. She can do another one, but she cuts away. So Karen Corbin, nice and steady, goes through. Puts two discs on the ground, records a time. We're going to have to go and let the scrutineers have a little bit of a look. We have a DQ on one and a good cut on two. So Karen, that, that was a win in that heat. Um, and your first time competing in the stock saw, how did it feel? Oh, it was very, very nerve wracking. But um, yeah, I'm pleased that it's over and that I managed to remember to do the third cut when the first cut was no good. But it didn't feel anything like the practice ones, that's for sure. Raywin, three wonderful disciplines today. What is your strongest? The soaring would have to be my strongest today. I've been doing it for many years. And you have had a lot of success, but I tell you what, 
are there nerves out there? Have these ladies got to be a little bit worried about you out there in the Soren? I, I think there's a real um, nervous excitement between everyone. We've all competed against each other and, and know each other quite well. So um, yeah, I think it's going to be a great day. Alma, three wonderful disciplines here to compete in today, but which is the one the ladies are going to be most worried about you in? Um, the underhand. And why would that be, Alma? <laughs> I've retired since, but um, yeah, I have won a world title for the ladies underhand, yes, in America. And a five times uh, national <laughs> champion as well, we'll just add that in there. So well done, Alma. We're looking out for you, certainly, in that underhand. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go! And so it's a nice clean pick up off the ground. Alma Wallace just getting a footing a little bit slippery there, but it looks like it's going to be Raywood Winley Pizzeri, but no, it's absolutely neck and neck, and I'm going to give it to Alma Wallace from Hawtucky. He's going to be up, comes up, nice, clean cutting too. And oh, that's nice, clean work. Look at the unofficial time of 18.39 there, recorded by Alma Wallace. Oh, a good, tough competition as they came through the first disc. It looked like it was neck and neck, but it really was Alma Wallace. He really had the right pressure. We have a good cut on stand one. We're checking the start on stand two. Okay, we've just checked it. The start was good. Alma from Ōtaki. Alma, that was a nervous wait to hear whether or not they said you had a clean start. What was going through your mind? Oh no, how did I screw this up? That's so bad. So yeah, that was being my nightmare. So, so wrapped that I got through, so yeah. Cherie, what an impressive list of wins. So many world titles, but of these three disciplines, what is your favourite? I don't really have a favourite. I enjoy every one of them. Um, that's why I'm still participating in the sport. I really, really do enjoy it. You know, um, people say to me, gosh, you're still competing at your age. I said, well, that's all I know and I really love it. So I love all of the sports. Darcel, it was lovely seeing you at Kumiu and now back here for the national championship title. What is your preferred discipline today? Uh, single saw. Well, aren't you the current single and double saw champion of 2019, Dan? Yeah, I um, was lucky enough to win both titles at the Royal Sydney Easter Show um, back in April and I won the double saw with my soaring partner Cherie who's also competing here. Ooh, some tough competition mm, today then, yeah. Darcel. Well, all the best of luck. Awesome, thank you. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go! So it's 18.03 to beat. Can these two contestants do it? Both very handy with a chainsaw. This could be a quick time. They make the transition just over the eight second mark. Both going neck and neck, coming back on the uppercut now. It's going to be down. Who can use the power the best? Darcel Apalu looks like she's got the advantage. Second disc comes off. Shree Taylor fishing us out the second disc. But Darcel Apalu looks like she's been doing that quite well. We'll check the discs and check the cut. We're going to check the start on one, good cut on two. First in the stock saw was Darcel Apalu with a blistering time of 16.24, Alma Wallace in second, and Cherie Taylor third. And today, the ladies will compete in the single buck. What are they going to be asked to do there? It's one of the favourites of some of these competitors as we've seen from the bios. But we go away from a motorised cross-cut saw and we get a manual cross-cut saw. These are the sort of things that we use to pretty much clear the farmland and develop the countries of New Zealand, Australia and the, I guess, North America. But nowadays, it's a piece of sporting equipment, a very valuable piece of sporting equipment. It can be worth about $3,000. The idea, they've got to make one cut off the end of that block with that saw it is a very, very tough aerobic event and takes a lot of skill. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. So it's Shannon on the left and Karen on the right. A good start, the saw needs to go through. Use the whole lot. You don't want it to hang up stall or bow because all of that will cost you vital seconds. A little bit of a jump there from Karen. Might prove Shannon another chance to get back in, but they're looking about neck and neck as we head through the 50% mark. You can see the helpers are able to wedge the log just to keep it open so it doesn't pinch back on the saw. Good technique using a lot of saw there is Karen Corbin, and that shows too a good cut. So Shannon Hodgins has got to finish down. It's here a little bit of support. That is very hard when you're down into the seventh eighth mark. 
Both cuts were good. Karen, you've had a bit of time now to catch your breath. That's a tough work out there, but what a technique. What do you practice? Um, single saw is the one that most of us really um, hate, um, so I'm very pleased to have mine over and done with. But it's about keeping the saw light, which is maybe not what you'd think, but you actually have to have really light hands and you have to use the momentum of your body to keep the saw going. It's not about um, brute strength. So that's what I was thinking about when I was sawing, yeah. Keeping the saw light. The practice paid off because you glided through that timber. Well done, Karen. Thank you. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And away they go, nice clean start there by Michaela Lord under the watchful eye of Chris, the current rookies champion who'll be giving a little bit of advice as he starts thinking about putting the, the wedge in. Alma Wallace there from Ortucky on number one on the left hand side in the pink, making up a little bit of ground, getting into a rhythm now, getting the advice from Graham Rasmussen. A little bit of a stall there, Michaela Lord, this is what happens, it's a hard, hard work, if it gets sorted, you've got to keep the rhythm, got to keep the momentum up so the saw keeps flying and the noodles keep coming out. So at the moment it's Alma Wallace, nice clean cut too, stands up, puts her hands on her hips, but she knows she's done a good job. Michaela Lord in the blue, just finishing now, two thirds of the way through has gone, just getting into the final cut and it's getting harder and harder, but there it is. Both cuts are good. <laughs> Alma, that was amazing out there and it looked pretty fluid, uh, was the coach helping you on the way there with his encouragement? Yeah, definitely helping me. Gosh, he's pushing me the whole way. And I was like, can you stop that? But it was really good because it made me go a bit faster. So yeah, really good. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And a nice clean start there from Kylie Heaton, the Hamiltonian, the local lass. Let's see as she goes, manages to get a bow, holds it up. Could give Ray Win Win Lee a little bit of a chance, but also binding up right on the tip of the saw a couple of times. So it's going to give Kylie Heaton a little bit of an advantage. She goes through the halfway mark. Time elapsing, just going through the 22nd mark now. Both of these sawyers working hard. It gets really difficult at the bottom. But at the moment, it's Kylie Heaton. The Hamiltonian's done the job, puts a disc down on the ground. It's up for Ray Win Win Lee to make sure she records a timer, as she does. Both cuts were good. Kylie, that looked pretty efficient out there. Did everything go to plan? Not quite to plan, but slippery. Would have been good to have spikes on, but can't complain about that. Once you're there, you just got to cut what you got as fast as you can. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. And both Sawyers draw back their bows and away they go. Look at the speed of Darcel Apalu in the maroon. On the left, on number one, Cherie Taylor, the veteran, doing very well. She's a very good Sawyer and has records the length of the stage. But at the moment, I'm going to give it Darcel Apalu just a little bit, but it's not a lot from Cherie Taylor. Cherie using a good, powerful stroke. But is it going to be the speed of Darcel Apalu that does it? Unofficial 22.93, we need to see a good time from Cherie, stops the clock, unofficial 29.88. Oh, that was a good event. Both cuts were good. So you heard it there. Now I just heard you two talking amongst each other before and said, that didn't go quite to plan, give us the run through. So everyone knows exactly what's involved in such a tough event. Um, I think for me it's a little bit different when we um, start the saws, we get a starting cut, but generally we would just have a you just start from the top, so i trying to get used to that. But I pulled a couple of chips in that kind of put the brakes on, so having to try and clear that was a bit of hard work. A single buck saw Darcel Apalu take out top honours again with a time of 22.6. Kylie Heaton in second and Cherie Taylor again in third. Most of our ladies today say the underhand is their favourite discipline. What are they going to be asked to do? With the underhand, again, it's a heritage sport, timber sports. It replicates if a log was down on the ground, a tree had been cut down and they need to cut it to length, they would have to do it with an axe. So they'll scarf it from one side and then scarf it and cut it from the back side so it splits in two. So what they do here is they have a short block, they have cut some footholds into it so they can stand on it and they are cutting between their feet. So they do the front side and then they do the turn 
and then I cut the rear, and then once it splits in half, fastest time again is what we're looking for. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. So a little bit ahead with the first blow goes in by Michaela Lord. Karen Corbin now working away, going side to side. You'll see when they get to the front how they'll work top to bottom. They're working the wood away towards the centre. Moving the feet, keeping a good grip. There's not a lot of room to balance up there. So just working away, taking the timber out, cleaning out the scarf. First on the turn, Michaela Lord. Nice gentle step to her, making sure they keep their footing. Karen Corbin also on the turn now. Opens up near side, goes far side, but at the moment it's all Michaela Lord. Staying on the far side, moving the timber out. It's starting to go well as this poplar. Michaela Lord gives a little bit of a push out of the way. Gives Karen Corbin a chance to perhaps catch up. You can see that they've already marked where they want to put the scarves, so that does mean if they're going to plan, they'll stay within it. The ideal is a very smooth scarf from both sides. So we're watching now for the timber to break. Putting in the drivers now, Michaela Lord. There it goes, I think we've got it, puts it through. Make sure of it. So Karen Corbin just putting in those last blows now, cleaning up a little bit of wood, puts in the drivers. It's gonna be very close. Wood starting to move under her feet, and it does. I've cut for good. Well, I must say, Michaela, there's certainly some weight in this, but you made it look pretty easy. Did everything go to plan? Uh, yeah, I mean, I tried to hit it hard. Um, I stepped in a bit, and that's you want to cut a nice, clean log. So, unfortunately, I stepped it, but I mean, I tried to hit it hard and it came off when I wanted to, so. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. So Kylie Heaton, first blow goes in, working away round each side, going to far side now. Shannon Hodgett's come a long way from Westland to be here in the grey on the right hand side, stand number two. As they both work away and each round of hits they do, they'll be getting closer to the centre. And as you heard before, going from top to bottom, they will have already had in their mind, looking at the condition of the timber, how many blows they need to make to be optimal. Kylie Heaton first on the turn in the dark green. On stand number one, working away, second scarf. The wood chips coming away here for Shannon Hodgetts on number two. Now, it's very difficult when you're cutting between your feet. Now, if they cut into those footholds, that is a disqualification, but they're heading towards the centre now. And we've seen quite a good catch up here from Shannon Hodgetts. From Westland, doing a good job. Kylie Heaton just finding those last blows a little bit hard, but we can see the movement now for Shannon Hodgetts. Underhand, tick, done. And Kylie Heaton finishes out as well. Both cuts were good. So there you have it, the both cuts were good. So Shannon, the truly hilarious thing about you is you won that heat, but you haven't actually trained for it. What's that all about? I, I injured myself pretty badly um, South Island Champs three months ago and I just haven't been able to bring myself to cut a block. Hurt to do a lot of things really. I could imagine that would be one sport you'd want to feel 110% in. Uh, but I tell you what, your coach, if he watches this on the TV, what do you think his pointers will be to you? Apart from the swearing. He said you should have trained. <laughs> well he might be right. <laughs> well done. Thank you. So we're here, we are, this is still Timber Sports and we're getting through the heats now, we're up to heat number three. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. So it sounds easy when you think there's only 30 centimetres of wood to get through, but as we know, it takes a little bit of time to get there. Currently, Shannon scored a 54.86 is the time to beat. So both competitors working on their first scarf. We'll have to wait and see who's going to be first on the turn as they clear the chips out to make sure they've done enough work on the first side to make the second side easier. Sometimes you can see a quick turn, but it doesn't actually tell the story. It depends on how much wood has been moved. So under the tutelage of Graham Rasmussen, it's Alma Wallace who's first one to turn onto the second side, works to the bottom far side, near side middle, and down to the, up to the top. Raywin Windley needs to get back to the turn, but she's doing a lot of work. It may pay off in the end, but at the moment it's all Alma Wallace and she's cutting well too. 
When you look at the scarf, it should be nice and even. There's not too many steps here as she starts working back towards the centre. She'll be into the drivers shortly as Raywin Winley now really makes that approach on the second scarf, which she's got a lot of work to do. We can see the drivers just about to come in here now from Alma Wallace, and she's done it. And she did it with style as well. Raywin Winley still working away. Let's hear some support, ladies and gentlemen. She needs to get through those last blows. Clear out the wood before she gets onto the drivers. Goes to the bottom, puts another one into the top. We can see a little bit of movement into the centre. Oh, and a little bit of a miss. You won't be pleased with that. She's going back, going to clear out a little bit more wood. Comes back into the centre, looking back towards that near side. The work's going in now. She knows she wants to record that time. I can hear someone yelling, reach. That's to get down to the bottom to put those drivers in. Logs recalcitrant, doesn't want to move. A little bit of a stick in the bottom, just making it harder for all of the effort that's been put in. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is, Raywin Winley, she's done it. Both cuts were good. Yes. Alma just two driving hits to sever the log at the end. That must have been some pretty clean cutting. Yeah, yeah, very happy with that cut. Um, I did what I was meant to do, what you meant to do, and it came off really easy. So, yeah, that was good. Saves a lot of hard work, yeah. We've got two wonderful women following you now. Yeah. Do you think that's put a little bit of the pressure on for them? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> no, they're really good ladies. And, and, you know, so like we all said to each other, we all know how to cut. If we can do it correct, we'll, we'll cut well, do our best, so yeah, so we're all supporting each other regardless of the, the results, so yeah, yeah. Athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go! So here are the two top seeds, they're the first and second place overall respectively as we go into this final discipline in this final heat. Both working away, first scarf, clearing the wood away. They'll all be counting in their head how many blows they're making. They know that certainly from their coaching they'll be looking at an optimal number of hits before they make the turn and they need to have cut up enough timber on the first before they turn because otherwise when they get to the second side there's going to be extra wood that needs to be moved. Cherie Taylor tentatively makes the turn now. Darcel up loose still on the first scarf. Cherie Taylor the veteran just cutting away nicely here. Nice measured approach. Darcel Upalu coming down, goes far side, near side, working away. The chips are nice and clean, so's the scarf. Look at the quality here of Sheree Taylor. Hardly any steps in that face at all. Darcel Upalu also looking pretty tidy, so that's often what means a good cut. Okay, Darcel Upalu coming more to the point for the drivers, getting a little bit of movement too. She might just be there if she can just get that axe down, and she's done it. Good comeback, second side, she'd done the work on the first side, you saw it took longer for the turn from Darcel. so Sheree Taylor turned earlier but maybe a little bit more wood and a little bit more work to do and perhaps some tougher wood down near the centre, puts the driver into the bottom, puts another one in there to make sure it's still not moving, puts it again, having to stretch and does it, through the log goes, cut. Both cuts were good. And the underhand saw Shannon Hodgetts taking out first place with a time of 54.86, Kylie Heaton in second, and Darcel Upalu in third. And our overall place getters for the Still Timber Sports Women's National Championships, our bronze position went to Shannon Hodgetts, silver, Alma Wallace, and gold, Darcel Upalu. Marcel, congratulations. That was very exciting right to the last minute. I loved seeing your face when you got called out. Now, you are New Zealand's first ever national women's champion. How do you feel? I'm feeling really stoked. Um, just happy that I was able to do well and just chat with my mates. So, yeah, really, really happy. And what got you into the sport right back at the start? Oh, I actually just got asked by a friend just on the fly and, and I kind of started when I was about 14. So, and I just kind of fell in love with it from there. So. We're really lucky to um, be part of a really great community here. And how much training is actually involved? Quite a bit. I think with doing the three disciplines, it's made you more accountable um, instead of focusing on kind of the main ones. So, um, no, it's been really good. It's a bit different uh, chopping in winter because we usually do it over summer. So, it's definitely kept me on my toes. 
And what is next for you, Darcel? A bit of a break, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping I'm, uh, I'm going to start well with next season and, and um, hopefully defend our, my titles over in Sydney next year. What an exciting finish for our very first still Timber Sports Women's National Champion. And I tell you what, Darcel was a very firm favourite. Very firm favourite and certainly before we, when we looked at the fields and looked at the seedings, Darcel was going to be a top runner. I've had her in a number of events, I know what she can do. But there were some others there that I think had a very good chance and they actually showed their mettle as we got towards the end. And it is interesting that you say that because right at the end there, there were a little couple of surprises up on the podium. Well there were, I mean we went through before the underhand, certainly Cherie Taylor, the veteran, the, certainly the most awarded and most winning of all of these competitors, was holding a very firm second position. And so it must have been very daunting for some of the younger competitors to look at that and think, what are we going to do when we've got one chance with the underhand, but it happened. Well make sure you stay with us for our next show because we'll be finding out exactly who takes away top honours in the still Timber Sports Rookie Championship.